Dre, listen, mm-hmm. my man. Mm-hmm. You are not. I agree with you. Man. Thank you. Thank you. What? Thank you. What? <laughs> Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Nasty Bitters. My name is Deion J. Robinson, and I just can't stop fucking laughing before. <laughs> <That shit. laughs> uh, listen, I'll, I'll, I'll explain why we're laughing next week, because it's going to be a great show next week. All right? <laughs> and, and these are my friends. Say hello, friends. <laughs> uh, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Evan Hamataki. And for once, it's not DeAndre's hand. Back door, dickhead! <laughs> <laughs> Hot fucking mess. Hot fucking mess. Oh my gosh. Oh, bro. Hi, friends. It's your girl, Cam. I apologize for for the fact that we can't let you in on the joke yet. Next week, you will understand. I will tell you in advance. Don't play it on speaker. You're going to need headphones for next week's topic. (laughs) Um, With that being said, you're welcome. (laughs) <laughs> hey, it's your boy CJ, aka the cuddler. I think like the professional cuddler is becoming with like blankets and shit to like lay on the floor. Like I don't think they always lay in the bed. Yeah, no, yeah, no, they, uh, they have, you know, they, uh, you know, they can also bring, um, you know, they can also bring their own, they bring their own beds. They can also bring their own air mattress. Like, they have actual, yeah, they have actual like uh, different like uh, cuddling supplies too. Oh, yeah. Come so, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Big, big, old, big old fuzzies. Yeah. Or if you ever book one, please hit us up. I have so, so, so they actually are professional colors. However, they're also professional draw humpers as well. That's yeah, I don't know about all that. No. Yeah, yeah. They're professional, that, there's, there's a professional draw humper that, that will literally draw hump the shit out of you for, <laughs> for X amount of fee. For X fee. Wow. Oh. I, I, all right. That. Yeah, no, that's a little okay. little I, <laughs> like, not gonna, that's a little too much for me. I don't understand the dry hump thing. I know this is way off yeah. topic. Evan, don't make that face no more. Um, <laughs> <laughs> why would I want that? However, for hold, real? It, it, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, say so, so it's not for you. However, if somebody paid you to dry hump them, would you do it? Yes, that's different. I, I can't understand that. booking someone to dry hump, but Thank somebody you. books you. That's a job, it's a job. It, but if somebody books you to do it. If you find no. as fuck, baby, I might <laughs> have a discount. Yeah. Oh my if you God. Go no, it might be cheaper going to strip club. It might not be. You pay entrance, you gotta buy a drink, you got a tipper. Like I mean, I ain't gotta do none of that, up. but all right. And she could yeah. come to your house and maybe do it for the same price or less. And yeah, you probably, probably get some sloppy toppy out of it. You probably get yeah. doonies down. You probably get to eat more than just oh, Yo, real shit, they got a, a saloon for dry humping. And I think it was Wisconsin. What like, the rub down yeah, show? Oh, oh, oh Wisconsin. Wisconsin. That makes total sense now. Okay. Ah, them okay. cheese fuckers. <laughs> Welcome to Master Bears Home Community Debate. Speak today, some of the likely of topics, just like the two topics we have today. Uh, so Evan took the backdoor dickheads, just, just like uh, in Philly. Um, but shout out to Jim McCracken for making me that shirt, the backdoor dickhead shirt. It actually might be the next shirt that we that I wear for next week. So yeah, I want uh, one. Uh, you want one? I, I, I told you to one. All right, I got you. I, 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 I right. Right. Yeah. So excited. <laughs> yeah. to one. Listen, I've been on on record saying that Greece two is better than Greece one. So we are going to do Greece versus Greece two, and I'm eighty four percent sure that it's going to be me versus all of them. Did you say so, you? 84%? Yeah, 84 cuz I, I I might I might got somebody that 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 that, that maybe maybe uh um will will come over to the side to the dark side. First thing first I need to say this from jump that they both did not age well at all. I I want to say that right now. <laughs> <laughs> both of them did not age well at all. All right. So I got some notes. Uh, Ryan Tomatoes, I, I know I hate Ryan Tomatoes, but people like, like the, the, that's that. So Ryan Tomatoes gave the audience score for Greece is 87%. The audience score for uh, Greece 2 is 
Um, the tomato meter for Greece is 75%. The tomato meter for Greece too is 39%. All right, so I got some notes. Uh, first thing about Greece, like I said, I, I watched both of them back to back yesterday. Um, all the students in Greece look like they can be the mom and dad of all the students in Greece. Like they, they, they were the oldest fucking, <laughs> oldest fucking kids alive, all right? All right? Older looking kids alive, all right? Uh, Greece in Greece too has some of the same re reincurring characters. The principal came back, the coaches came back. Uh, that was good. Um, Greece and Greece too had some of the worst fucking high school staff ever in movie cinema history. Uh, outside of one dance in Greece, the dancing in Greece didn't really hold up. Real shit. Outside of the one dance doing this shit, on that shit, the dances did not hold up at all. At all. You got you got fucking John Travolta just all, all <laughs> Yeah, it's the hand job. You got John Travolta. Only thing John Travolta is doing, like he's like the bad thing is I'm saying this about John Travolta, John Travolta is the best dancer out of all everybody in Greece one and Greece two. But he still worked, he's still bad at it though. All you do is like he, he can move his hips better than everybody else. That's really about it. That's it. Go ahead, no offense. But that's what white people dancing usually is. <laughs> soon as they can, hashtag, soon as a man moves, they're like, oh my God, look at all this. A hip movement. That's it. Feet. Barely moving. Yeah. Oh shit. Hey. Yeah, facts. All right. They soon as they see that shit, they're like, his pelvis moving. I'm hypnotized. It's over. Let's make him like God. Like it's it's so weird. Yeah. Well, so, you know what they say. Elvis was yeah. the hero to most, but he never never meant shit to me. Elvis was a hero to most, but he never meant shit to me. If he's straight out racist, the sucker was simple and plain. Motherfucking in John Wayne. <laughs> Motherfucking yeah. in John Wayne. I see your raggedy. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah. Never mind. Actually, it's reverse. Actually, it's, it's both. Either they can move the hips really well, or they don't move the hips at all and only move their arms. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's, the, yep. it's just like this one part. Got rhythm, and the rest of it, it don't even matter. Just because you yeah. one, one, one part got yeah. rhythm, and, and one enough. body part got rhythm, they you know, they the shit. They got they got, they got the footloose dance. <laughs> you couldn't even say that seriously, so I'm not gonna respond. <laughs> <I'm not laughs> <gonna respond. laughs> you couldn't even say it. I tried. I, I tried so hard. They just got say the it footloose out loud. dance. That's all. That. All that. Yo, real shit. You 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 go to a dancing white bar and play footloose. That's the best shit ever to see white people dance. That shit is great. Yeah. That shit is great. Yeah. Anyway, the, all right. Wait, are you talking about the yeah. Footloose? Loose. Nah. Footloose. Yeah. The, the Cupid yeah. Shuffle get a white crowd going pretty well, too. I'm just saying. It's, it's three and a half simple moves. Yeah. yeah. But we're talking about stuff y'all that y'all dance to. Not me <laughs> making it and you dancing to it. All right. And when uh, I say I mean colored people, the blacks, <laughs> African Americans. The, the black delegation. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, uh, apparently someone put a comment that I'm racist, so I'm gonna be extra <laughs> listen. Racist you, you Cam, Cam, you Cam's literally racist. just said the black delegation, and it made me think of this. I saw a TikTok where it was like the whites have proposed a trade to the black delegation, and it said we get the n word, but you get white privilege. I was, and then it's a black dude who who duetted it, and he's like, "That's a deal." <laughs> <laughs> you did for real. Yes, yes. you did right. I, I think deal. that's trading a heartbeat. You, you, you can have like, it. Oh, so I literally, what you said, white privilege. I forgot what you even was trading us for. What are you giving us? What are we giving? <laughs> it's, it's, it's a pass to it, the white. The white people receive a pass to use the n word, but black people get white privilege. Yes, that's perfect. Because you yes. know what? I'm, I'm gonna use my white privilege to cry and get you arrested for saying. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> I feel attacked. You're going to jail. You're going to jail. Yeah. Just for saying the N-word. You're going you to jail now. Yeah. You're going to jail now. <laughs> you're going to jail now. Guess who's going to jail tonight? I love that oh, plan. Let's God. do that. Biden, take care of it. Do that shit. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, oh, yeah. all right. I'm yeah, a, yeah. Uh, you call I'm the N-word all day as I come out of the bank of my house alone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to cry in the toilet. So yeah, so the T Birds. Going back to the fucking movie, the, the T Birds are a bunch of dorks in Greece. One, gonna gonna shoot a bunch of dorks. 
All right, they were they were they were the hard dogs. Like like going back to like movies that has like greasers, quote unquote, like the Outsiders and I forgot the other movie is. They they, they was hard. They they were ready to rumble and shit. The only person that that, that was that was a uh, ready to get, get after on both movies for T Birds was uh um John Travolta. He, like he, he was ready to get some. He was he was ready to fight. That's the only person that was ready to get get them though. Everybody was a bunch of bitches. All right. Uh, obviously, Olivia Newton John is the best singer out of all of the fucking book movies. Obviously, uh, uh, however, people though, who have not seen it, which movie is she in? Uh, Grease One. She's the main main girl in Grease One. She's Sandy in Grease One. Uh, however, though, her Australian accent is the fucking worst. Garbage. That accent was horrible. So, uh, Vince Fontaine in Grease is a fucking pred- a pedophile. Just want to let everybody know that right now. The the guy that, that hosted American Bandstand or make a oh, dance yeah, for she was, that man was a whole predator and a harpy. He was trying to get some 17 year old pussy when he's like 35 or 40. And that's like, why it's accurate. Pro- uh, God of truth, you're probably right, but that shit was that shit was horrible. Yeah. Storyline, so the storyline in 1979 was it was probably good for 1979, but like I said, it doesn't age well because the storyline for Grease One and Grease Two was horrible. Uh 59. No, the movie came out in 1979. Oh no, the storyline is 59. But the movie came out in 1979. The storyline. Yeah, I'm saying. What I'm That's saying is that it's for 59. Shit, Thank you. <laughs> anyway, you uh, I want I want to say that uh we go together, the just the other song at the end of Greece one is the mumble rap of musicals. God knows truth. <laughs> that shit is the mumble rap of musicals. If you, if you, if you listen to that song. <laughs> and you sing that. Go together <laughs> like Ramalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabal
Cool Rider was uh, when, when fucking Michelle Pfeiffer is uh, straddling the, the damn uh, ladder. Like every last single song on Grease Two is better than Grease One to me. All right, I thought the choreography for the dances, even though they dance way more in Grease Two, I thought the choreography of the dances for Grease Two was better. All right, it's a lot more comedy in Grease Two. Um, uh, Michelle, uh, um, uh, I got a real name, Michael. Michael, um. Had a real fucking accident. I mean, he had a, he had a real accident uh, in Greece too. It wasn't the Australian accent, but it was an accent. All right. Oh, Maxwell Caulfield. That's his real name. But but his name was Michael in, in the song right, in, in the, the movie. movie. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the storyline to me was better in Greece two than Greece one. Michael literally saw Michelle Pfeiffer. This is how bad Michelle Pfeiffer is. Michael. Was Michael saw Michelle Pfeiffer, said, how can I get this bitch? Okay, let me cheat for everybody, get my braid up, fix a fucked up bike, ride, sir, fucked up bike, beat up bad guys in that fucked up bike, and everybody make a song for me, two songs for me, <laughs> on, on said fuck, fucked up bike. Michael was smooth as shit, even as a nerd, before he was a cool rider, he was smooth as fuck, all right? The ending song is another mumble rap, but it is what it is. And, but, but it just goes. And, uh, yeah, a lot of songs and movies about sex. However, Mike didn't want sex. Mike just wanted Michelle Pfeiffer. To me, this is a better movie. Now, I'm not, now don't get me wrong. I'm not saying Grease is a bad movie. I want, I want to make sure I, I say that. I'm not saying Grease is a bad movie. All I'm saying is that Grease 2, if you go by a list my list, Grease 2 is a, a better movie than Grease. So I said I was going to start this off. Mm -hmm. Dre, listen, mm -hmm. my man. Mm -hmm. You are not. I agree with you. Man. Thank you. Thank you. What? Thank you. What? Okay. Thank so you. I had. Thank you. I, I had. I much like CJ. Interesting turn of events. Much like CJ, I had not seen this movie. I was. I did not want to tarnish what Greece was by watching the sequel of this movie. However, the only thing Greece one has over Greece two is John Travolta. Everything else about Grease 2 is better. Michelle Pfeiffer, to me, is better than Olivia Newton-John. John Travolta is better than Johnny in this movie. That's the only thing. The T-Birds in this movie are better than the T-Birds in the first movie. The pink ladies in this movie are much more attractive than the, than the pink ladies in the first movie. And the best part of the first movie was fucking Frenchie, and she's in this movie. Um, the cars in the first movie were not the greatest. And I get that for the time frame, they were very historically accurate. The bike scenes in this were much more entertaining to me. Um, it, it's just, it, like Dre said, there's much more comedy in this. It's, it's to me, this is a more realistic of a movie for that time period than Grease was. And I think Grease, it was, Grease was star studded. But but to me, this movie was better. If you think long term situations outside of John Travolta, Michelle Pfeiffer had a fantastic acting career. Christopher McDonald goes on to play one of the greatest bad guys in a sports movie ever when he's Shooter McGavin and Happy Gilmore. Mm -hmm. um, Maxwell Caulfield is a very decorated actor. Um, they mm -hmm. have a dude in here who looks like Andy Samberg and Pete Davidson had a baby. Oh, oh the, the sister, the little, little sister. She's uh -huh. one of the best voice actors of all time, she's in literally, yeah. she, she's in Rugrats, she was in Teen Titans, she was in, like, she's one of the best voice actors ever. Yeah, so, I, I'm i with Dre as well. I Grease is not a bad movie, but I think the fact that Grease jump-started John Travolta for the most part and Olivia Newton-John for the most part, people give Grease a lot of credit. When, let's be real, the, for one, they both didn't age well, like Dre said, but for two, this movie, Grease, I can't believe I agreed with it, but Grease 2, in my opinion, is better. And my wife just walked in the room and is looking at me terribly. <laughs> but thank I'm, you. After you watching this, like, yeah. after That's finally that. watching this movie all the way through, I agree 
with DeAndre that Grease 2 is better than Grease 1. And it's a rare occasion when a sequel is better than the original in a movie like this that has very little... Uh, it's very white. It's a very white movie. It is. Um, but oh, yeah, it Dre, is. Dre, listen, we don't do this often for the de- for the conversation talks, but I can't fuck with it. I can't. I can't. I really can't. I'm not going to watch it again. But oh, I haven't watched Grease in like thirty years either. So, so I'm not saying watching it again. I'm just, I'm just saying that, like, give it, give it a try. That's what I'm saying. Give it a try. Yeah, right now, I get it. Uh, I had never seen Grease before, but I decided to watch them both back to back. You know, like I would do with any, like I would do with like any of the secret or the run of movies. Yeah, I watched Grease, loved it as always. You know, that, that's my shit. And they would fucking sang all the songs. You know. Try, um, try not to be too loud because I was at work, but yeah, but dude, I absolutely, yeah, I absolutely loved it. Um, you know, and uh, me and Dre had this conversation before. Like I said I was gonna, I was definitely gonna give the movie a chance, dude. Fucking like no bias at all, you know. So, and we also had a, a talk about like if it hadn't had the name Grease and had was given a different name and was just a standalone movie, yeah, you know, it probably would have been done way better. You know, not caught as much flag as it did, you know, because you put the beast name on it, you automatically have to compare it to the first one. You know. So yeah, so I was fully re- yeah, so I came here fully ready to say that uh yeah, if it would have diff- gotten a different name, you know, it would have been way better, you know. Yeah. I was ready to say that, but I'm not because I movie was garbage. I, I, dude, I don't care what either one of y'all say, dude. Like no, <laughs> that movie was Horrible. Hey, I was, out. That's dude, I was, dude, I was, you no, know, halfway through, I was mad that I had to watch that shit. But, you know, actually, actually, the first time I tried to watch it, I fell asleep, like, 20 minutes in. Uh, fucking woke up, mad as shit, so the movie was still going. So I had to fucking rewind it, fucking start it over, keep going. And, oh my gosh, it, uh, yeah, it took me about, all about five hours to watch that whole movie. You know, because fucking either falling asleep or fucking different shit happening, and it's like, yo, know, it just pissed me off the whole time. I actually had to fucking like stop it, come home, and then watch the rest of it. Uh, yeah, uh, I was pissed the whole time. That movie was horrible. Like, dude, I, I don't know. I think we might be watching like two different movies. Maybe there's a third movie that I don't know about that like you guys are watching because no this, third one. Yeah, this movie was no, it was fucking garbage. Like, the, no, the songs were. Stupid. The, 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 the death numbers are weak. Stupid. I, I can't <laughs> believe it. Hold on. 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 That shit was bullshit. <laughs> I was uh, that was bullshit. Like no, that shit was stupid. And then you got no. Then you got the bad guy, the same road rash face motherfucker from the first one, but an old ass dude still picking on kids. We, we, yeah, yeah, it's it only two years after. It's only two years, second two years after. So yes, and he was yeah, yes, and he was com- he was combating against the seniors. This two years later, he's grad- he's fighting against other seniors like. Dude, you gotta be at least thirty. Like, you go do something with your life. Like, what? What? Why? Why are you 30, 35 years old still? Right? You know, still fucking going around fucking up high schools. Like, like for real. Like, no. That, yeah, that was dumb as fuck to me. And then they still had uh that one geeky dude. Can't remember his name, but I don't know how he's like the smartest kid in school, but yet he's still somehow in high school. He's a sophomore. Know, that was no, no. That was still, that was incorrect. Yeah. He's a sophomore in the first one. They, they, they said it. He's a sophomore in the first one. He's a senior then. Yeah. It was only two years. All right. I didn't see, yeah. I didn't see how they said he was a sophomore. I didn't see first that one? part, but still. Yeah, I didn't see that part. But I don't know. It was just, there's so many things about it that annoyed the shit out of me. The best thing about it was Michelle Pfeiffer, though. Like, the best thing about the whole movie was Michelle Pfeiffer. She was fucking, she was fucking great. Now, neither, neither one of the movies had any ass at all. It was just fucking I went, right I nailed it. I'll wait for that. Yeah, yeah. Rydell did not have fucking uh, asses at all allowed in this school. <laughs> but man, I'm not dude, gonna lie to you. The uh, the songs the, were the... weak as shit, dude. Compared to oh, compared to the first one, the songs were weak as shit. 
That, that one it was girl too was corny. It? The T birds were garbage. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. No. The T birds were a joke in the second one. They were a joke. You know, hey, dude, like, yeah. Now, of course, the first one, yeah, there were three, there were three, like, you know, little followers and shit. You know? But there were two main viewers, John Travolta and the fucking second. They were Nikki. fucking badass. They, yeah, they were badass. In the can fucking he, second one, there was no ass? good. He got knocked out by his car. It, it wasn't his fault. If you were in that Ew. same situation, you would have got knocked out too. He's a bitch. <laughs> if, you were in that if you were in that same situation, you would have got knocked out too. Now, anyway, no, there were no good T birds. Period. They were all jokes. They're all that's, that's, like, I, 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 cowardly, I funny. They were, yeah, they were cowardly pieces of shit. All of them. Uh, uh, yeah, at least John Travolta fucking hit somebody. <laughs> He's ready to hit somebody. Yeah, true. Hey, he a, really a couple did. people. I, 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 I remember the scene at the bowling alley where he's like, "Hey, let's go outside." And the the uh, the dude from he's the by himself gets up, and the guy runs back, and, and uh, Johnny runs yeah. back inside. He's like, "Oh, hey. <laughs> I was yeah. I, real quick before yeah. CJ continues. I will say this though: um, there's that one chick in the second one who's a T bird, who's with the the Pete Davidson, Pink. Andy Samberg look alike. Pink lady, yeah, yeah, Pink lady. Yeah. Sorry, who's uh, I think it's Sharon. The one who, like, every time she tries to talk, no one's like, no one cares, Sharon, or something like that. Um, she's yeah. bad as hell. Like, in the movie, she was fine. Like, she was, to me, she was better looking than all the pink ladies in the first movie, too. She. Listen, listen, listen. The, the ladies in the pink, la pink ladies in the second one. Listen, you really, look, look, even the main pink lady, the, the one that got knocked up and, and uh, got a quote unquote abortion, whatever, Rizzo. whatever happened to her, uh, Rizzo, she will, she will look good on me. She, will, she put out more. Oh, ew, no, not Rizzo. No, no I'm not, I wasn't talking about Rizzo. No, no, I'm talking about no, no, the chick, uh, the chick, the fucking uh, Dace Marines. Uh, she was fucking fire. Who? There's only one version of Rizzo to yeah. me that was attractive, and that's the one from Reese Reese Line. Line because that's Vanessa Hudgens. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, she's fine. Yeah, oh, I don't take Michelle Fire for over Olivia and John, but other than that, I don't see at all how the second one is better than the first one. The second one. It just, yo, it actually bothered me. I honestly had to watch the like the first one again afterwards, fucking to rinse my brain out, fucking get that blue <laughs> on my face. Yo, it was, you know, I, yeah, it was uh, to me, it was just corny and stupid, and there was, yeah, too many things just got my nerves. First of all, Evan, you know, I didn't see that coming, but I'm proud of you for being open minded. With that being said. Both these movies are trash. Yeah, I, I said, oh, I said that. <laughs> they, they, did not age well. they did not age well at all. <laughs> they did not age well. They did not um, age well. Now, oh, I know that they have right. sentimental value. I know, like, I understand. But I would like to always just start with the truth, which is that both of these movies are trash. Um, with that being said, one is still a better movie than the other. But I agree with all of the points you guys are saying. Movie one, everybody old as fuck. Everybody. <laughs> they were just like, hey, let's make this movie. And they cast the people before they realized what age they were supposed to be playing. They could have been in college and it would have made a better movie. Like, this is what, and you know what is wild? Because they always say this shit about black movies. Like, oh, everybody, like the older black movies, they was like, are you, are you supposed to be a teenager? You old as fuck? Grease. Grease started this shit. <laughs> I'm convinced Grease started this shit. With that being said. Yeah, just like I know what you did last summer, Cast. <laughs> right. Fuck fuck? 25, 25, 28 year old motherfuckers playing teenagers. Or clueless, clueless, look. St Stacey Dash, like 30 years up there, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Stacey Dash. But then it's fuck. one thing when you can pass. But she looked at those. It's another thing <laughs> when you paint. Yeah. Yeah. I knew damn well John Travolta was like 30 in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> So like back to the back to the balance. Both of these movies, they're fucking horrible. And now granted, I know the time that they were released. But the messages that these movies are sending are fucking horrible. Both of them. Both of them. <laughs> Alexis walked in on me watching one part and she's like, dude, that's harassment. Like she that's said, no. <laughs> for real. For real. You watch this shit, you're just like, 
What the fuck? Like Shooter <laughs> McGavin at one point, Shooter McGavin slaps some girl's ass in class, and he's like, "You know you liked it." Yeah. Oh my god, he did. <laughs> oh. Shit I'm like, this, but that's there's so late, much though. shit that would yeah, there's so much shit that would not pass in this fucking culture. Mm-hmm. Reproduction. Yeah. A fucking yeah. reproduction. Oh like, my god, that was so dumb. <laughs> it it was just there were so many bad things about both movies. With that being said, Grease Two is a better movie than Grease One. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Are you fucking Thank kidding me? You. I'm sorry. As an overall whole, watching both of them, because literally, this entire the first movie, the entire movie is like a week, but it's not a week. Like they stretch out shit. There's, there's no story. During the summer, y'all met each other. Y'all go to the same school. First of all, it took you forever to even see each other, even it's though you, you were in each other's line of sight multiple times. Didn't see each other, which I'm like, hey, if you mind, maybe you're, you know, captain, mind your business. That's fine. Okay. Then the whole entire movie is John Travolta acting like an asshole. Then hey, realizing, oh mean? shit, it's making me lose a the girl. Then let me go do something I think she likes. And then she do something that she thinks you, it's bad fucking dumb. It's, <laughs> it's toxic. Dumb. It's toxic. So, toxic relationships. It, really? It's very fucking stupid. There's no communication. And then all of a sudden they dressed opposite and then they sing. He's all of a sudden he's he's wearing a letterman jacket. She's in leather. How? Why? <laughs> <What>? <laughs> and so that's less toxic than the, in the, the second it, one. You could tell like it's supposed to be like prepared because it's just it's just here's my thing. If you wanted to convince me, have some consistency. Because what John Travolta was trying to be for her was, you know, good all American kind of boy, blah, blah, blah. But he only had the sweater on and had all black underneath. <laughs> and that's not a adult, I'm sorry, baby, I'll change. Like, what the? This one. <laughs> but it's the same guy underneath. Like, it didn't. And then on top, like, I get it. Those car, those old school cars, they're heavy as fuck. Okay, they're not a game, but they tapped homeboy in the head with that door. Like that was not convincing. Thank you. Like, you want Thank me to believe that he got knocked out, hit him, and just pay him a little more? <laughs> <laughs> like at least make that shit. Wow. Look. It was. It was. It didn't age well, man. It didn't age well. I don't understand why Grease Lightning. Like, I don't understand, like, random... And this is on both sides of the fence. I don't understand why you, like, just end up somewhere else while you sing it and then come back. Um, <laughs> like, not well. Like, it's not even, like, you know, oh, I'm dreaming about prom, and I picture prom. Like, you dreaming about a car, you end up in space or some shit. Like, it's always weird shit. Because they die. That has no relation to what the fuck is happening. <laughs> the only shit that was believable was the dumb bitch that worked at the office because that always <laughs> every school always, oh, it does oh you heard me say what every school always has every one school. dumb bitch that worked at the office every Blanche. Like, okay in the beginning I was like okay you got me she she got tenure so you can't get rid of her but she don't know what the fuck she's doing that's when in the beginning they had me and then it went left it went real fucking left and second of all everybody's just like oh Rizzo's loose Rizzo's dumb she's like yes, she it is. broke He's like, yeah, I've had it since I was seven. First of all, what the fuck? (laughs) (laughs) He says seventh grade. That's uh... whatever. The point is, that's a red flag. (laughs) Second of all, she goes, "Mm, fuck it. What? Like, and then he leaves you fucking high and dry. And you're like, I'll be fine. And then you find out you're not pregnant and you take him back. What the fuck is. Whoa, 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 he didn't leave her high and dry. He was trying to he was trying to responsibility. She kicked him to the curb. Is this it, yeah, is it nineteen fifty nine White Watch Maury. That's what White Watch <laughs> Yeah, no. He did not leave her high and dry. She kicked him to the curb. He tried to do the she right She said, thing. I'm not pregnant. Yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah. Right. No. Yeah, right. she said no. She said fuck you is somebody else's. I'm sorry. Yeah. You, I, I, and granted, I, again, that's why you don't sleep with stupid people. Um, both of them were stupid, so you know, balance. 
But balance. <laughs> balance. But the first movie, all you got is honey. And you know, John Travolta moving his hips excessively. Like and there were parts where it didn't need to be moved and he did it. Like, and I was just like, why? <laughs> um, don't get me wrong. I love John Travolta. I know it like kicked off a whole, a lot of stuff, but, and I get it because sometimes like you have to overact in order to act, but it's overacting. Anyway, second movie, just it, it better, still upsetting. As a motorcycle rider, I didn't appreciate this shit at all. <laughs> at, at fucking all. And if anything, if I would have known, I wouldn't even agree to do this motherfucking topic because I wouldn't have watched them play around with these fucking motorcycles like this. That shit was fucking embarrassing. I never, never seen more poorly choreographed fucking shit in my life. People falling for no reason. This man jumping over a fucking police car with no ramp. <laughs> For real, that was yeah, he the back like, of that car with no ramp. He's like, hey, like, hey, hey. like it's just a whole bunch of shit. He jumped over that fucking ravine. Appreciate. Like when I first started the movie, like I watched the movie, I was, I was like, oh, you finna build your own ship for her? Okay, mm-hmm. OG, I respect that. Then all of a sudden, he's um, what's that movie with um Nicolas Cage, where he's Ghost Rider? He, yeah, all of a sudden you're fucking Ghost Rider. How? Can, you been can two, I, you've been here two weeks. <laughs> can I point out the one jump that was the most unrealistic? The oh, jump the, at the, the end where he foot? jumps the pool. No, where oh, he pool? jumps the pool and he literally is like par- like he's straight up and down with the ground after the jump. By the time he gets to the end of the pool, I'm like, you overshot that. I mean, you're that, on that, your ass yeah. in the grass. That would have been your side. ass. Yeah, that would have been your ass. That's early 1980s editing, though. So he can't get out there. <laughs> they jumped. Yeah, no. They happy days by early. jumping the literal pool. That's yeah. how I was just no. like, this shit is a mess. And you know what? For all the people, my only thing is, I'm I'm very conflicted because for someone who says that they don't like Laura in Family Matters. This is very hypocritical of you. To I like this never character. said I like Laura. I never said I like Laura. I gave you your time. What? What? So, second, Grease 2, she's a Laura. Mm-hmm. She completely fucking, like, ignores him. And he's the same person, right? It shouldn't matter, right? She's supposed to love him from the start, right? That's how you feel about shit, right? Like, that's what you had said, right? Can I, can, can I respond? Can I respond? Can I respond? Yes, yes, you can. Go ahead. Okay, so for first thing first, I never say I'm like Laura, all right? And when I was younger, I thought Laura was bad, but now looking back, I was. Laura's a bitch. Yeah, all right? I never said that how uh, Michelle Pfeiffer treated Michael was good. I never said it as well. I just said the overall movie was better than the first one. I never said that how she treated him was good. And I'm not gonna lie, I think he's a dumbass for doing it. Listen, it was so many. I would have fucked Frenchie. Like, 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 Did I? Fuck. <laughs> Yo, Frenchie was yes. yeah. Yeah, I would have fucked Frenchie. Frenchie was cute. Yeah, she, and, cute. And, and, and obviously Frenchie wanted him. So listen, not gonna lie, when she had that pink hair. Yeah. Actually, the pink hair did oh, it for she me. Got it. She looked good on oh, her. Oh yeah, pink she could have got it. Yeah, all right, all right. So, so he's a dumbass for doing all, for cheating. Dude, he, school he, dropout. He could have. He, he could have got kicked out for school <laughs> for, for cheating. Drop my right. nuts into your He could have died training to to like to uh, make the make the bike and, try, and then trying to ride, ride that bike. He could have died doing the bike. He could have died fighting. He the was in a park. Hey, don't Frenchie was an OG though. She was like, like, "Hey, he's jumping cop cars." But I'll let you finish. Yeah. All, all I'm yeah. saying is, yeah. how do you go from falling I, in the park, falling in the park on grass to jumping cop cars? That's all I'm saying, did y'all not see that second turn around the tree into a knee? <laughs> <laughs> he he <laughs> <told him. laughs> See, that's how, like it shows him practicing, but it's just like, listen. Anyway, we only so, needed a Rocky song there to make it a good montage. The, 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 the movies are bad, <laughs> and I feel like we we probably should just call it a tie. They both suck. No, because to me, clearly, one, number two was ahead. To another bad one, you would just be like, this shit is, like, it sucks. <laughs> it fucking sucks. Oh, the bad oh, so guys could this, are terrible. Could... The cute girls are ugly. 
<laughs> the smart girls are dumb. Everything in these movies don't make no sense. <laughs> so like, I want to po- I want to pose a question to the class then. Could this movie be remade in today's times and be better than what they made in the in 1970? You, you have to take a lot of shit out. You have to take a lot of right. shit out. Right. You would have you would have to clean it up to make it appropriate. Yeah, but yeah. the thing is, could the original, they remake yeah. Greece nowadays and make it? Yeah, the thing is, Greece is ba- Greece is really based on it. The would play. Be a com- the sec- it would be a completely different The second different one was based on the original. It would be a completely different movie. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's no, also still- the problem with these movies. Mayonnaise is fucked. Oh yeah, the, uh, listen. Yeah. God is truth. I seen two. Well, I think was black people in the first one, and one which I think was black in the second one. Like I was looking for it. I'm not gonna lie. It was no black yeah. people there at all. I, I was looking for it. It was yeah. none at all. So that was our debate on Greece one versus Greece two. Listen, you can tell us how you feel about uh, that. Uh, I was 100 percent shocked that I got those votes. I was 100 percent shocked that I got those I votes. Am too. And whoa, 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 whoa! You got those votes? Well, no, sorry, the grease. Too, <laughs> I, I still can't believe no, nobody bothered. Nobody bothered the fact that uh, he, oh, he locked a fucking girl in a bomb shelter, yeah, and tried mm-hmm. to go and try to convince her that there was a war going on, so he could fucking uh, so he could take her virginity. Well, he didn't lock her in the bomb shelter. That was obviously. super fucked up and toxic as shit. Obviously, he didn't lock. He locked her in the bomb shelter. She, she got she got up and opened the door, so it wasn't she wasn't locked. Yeah. She literally got up in the door and it, I mean, it was creeps from trying to listen.